Hello and welcome back. I'm Deborah Worsu of ThreadSketchingInAction.com and today I'd like to share with you Thread Sketching in Action video demonstration number 94. Yes, 3D organza flowers. I'm moving away from flat two-dimensional thread sketching to create a 3D flower that still uses simple thread sketching techniques. Regardless of whether you're an old hand at free machine embroidery or a complete novice, these flowers are not difficult to make and, like most of my designs, very forgiving. The odd little wobble or wonky stitch is not going to spoil your work. I constructed this design using two layers of sheer organza and a layer of soluble stabiliser onto which I drew the shapes for the petals and leaves. I wanted the petals to be stitched to allow the organza to be prominently visible creating a lovely translucency in the finished project. These petals are worked using regular free motion stitching, making sure that the rows of stitch interlock at the centre and edges. If the stitching doesn't interlock somewhere, the completed petal could end up being very shapeless and limp, which is not what we're after. I've not finished showing you how to make this flower yet, but if you would like a more detailed guide, or even the pattern, head over to threadsketchinginaction.com and you'll find it listed under the resources. Once the veins of these petals are finished, run around the perimeter and central stem a couple more times to ensure that each petal is secure with a nice firm edge. The process for making the leaves is, at first, exactly the same, with two layers of organza plus the soluble stabiliser. Once again, I used regular free motion stitching to work the outer edges and central stems, before changing to quite a small free motion zigzag stitch to fill the body of each leaf. Although the free motion zigzag looks extremely dense, I have, in fact, done it so that the organza is not completely hidden from view. This allows little chinks of light to shine through the finished leaves, while also offering a more substantial form than the delicate petals. There's no need to be quite so concerned about ending up with a flimsy structure when using small free motion zigzag stitch like this, as the random directional stitching automatically creates interlocking stitches. Oh, and by the way, you may spot one rogue leaf in my design, the one that is half light green and half dark green. That was my test leaf, used to determine how I wanted to stitch the final pieces. When you've completed all the stitching, carefully cut out each shape and plunge them into a bowl of cold water. Rinse it several times to remove the stabiliser. And then once they've dried, you can assemble the flower. The finishing touch is added by hand stitching several white beads into the middle of the flower. Then finger press the petals at their bases to make them stand proud of the leaves and you now have a gorgeous 3D flower to use as a festive decoration. As I mentioned a moment ago, if you want to know more about making this flower, head over to threadsketchinginaction.com. And while you're there, you may like to check out all my free resources plus my online classes. These can be found at learn.debraworsu.com and are open for enrolment now. Thanks for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Bye for now.